We're working to get more information about a structure fire in Gilpin County on Christmas night where one person was found dead. It happened in the area of South Dory Lakes Drive. When firefighters arrived, they say flames were shooting from the roof and windows. After the fire was under control, first responders found a body inside the structure. Now, the Gilpin County Sheriff's Office says the coroner will release more information on the victim's death on Monday. Two skiers at Keystone who died within days of each other passed away from heart related problems. Both of them. The Summit County coroner says 53 year old Danielle Mars of Nevada died Saturday. He wasn't breathing when he was found at the bottom of a run. Just three days later on Christmas, 66 year old Derwood Marshall of Silverthorne was found unconscious on a trail. He was taken to the hospital where he died shortly after. One family has been given the gift of life, the other mourning a devastating loss. Two families that will soon have a connection through marriage already have a bloodline. Nine News reporter John Glasgow has their story. When Joe and Rose Benavidez posed for this picture with their goddaughter. She's incredible. You know, she's been through a lot. She lost her mom a year and a half ago. They couldn't have imagined the connection they would someday have. I don't think I am a mom, but I'm a special aunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never replace her mom. Samantha De La Rosa had her godparents to help her through, for a short time anyway. The doctors were scrambling. Joe's been on dialysis, an organ wait list, his kidneys failing after years of suffering with juvenile diabetes. Most people find out well before, uh, I think it's like when their kidney functions 35%. Joe was at 12%. While one family was certain they'd faced a tragedy, another did. I'm just very broken. You know, my, my son will never come back here. A week before Christmas, 21-year-old Brian Guzman was attacked on his way to see his young son in California. His injuries were too extensive. He was put on life support so he could donate his heart, pancreas, liver, lungs, and kidneys. Um, Blessed to know that um, and happy to know that we're, we're giving life to another person. Which is exactly what Joe needed. But how could a man in Colorado find a match with another in California? Drew's mom's losing her nephew, so she lost him. So it was, it was hard. It was a hard conversation. Back to the connection. That little baby who sat on Joe's lap in 1996 was now engaged in California to a man named Andrew, who just lost his brother Brian. For me, that would be like me losing Samantha. On Christmas Eve, Rose and Joe got the call. Despite the odds, Brian was a match, and their connection with Samantha stronger than before. He can't stop talking about Brian. <laughs> He's very grateful.